SMG. They've got to make the third pick, 30 seconds reserve time. I'm still wondering if they go down the Luna route again in that pause one roll. It doesn't seem like too bad of a Luna game yet. They'll go for the Lion instead, so not revealing their hand quite yet. Execration now with their fourth pickup. This, will, this pick should reveal what this Viper's doing. If you do go offlane Viper and you go for like a POS4 Enchantress, it can be quite powerful. Like you have Enchant plus the Poison Attack slow and it's quite devastating. And it looks like they're actually going to go down the Clockwork Viper route, which is also quite a devastating uh, kind of lane to have. You get that Battery Assault into the Cogs and a Viper's behind you attacking, there's no getting away. Uh, it, it's really strong lane so far from Execration. SMG, they're going to go for something different. They'll bring out the PL today. What do you think about that, John? Do you, do you like the Phantom Lancer? I like it in the sense that Execration doesn't have the best way of dealing with the Illusion spam. None right. of your heroes really punish that clump up. If you're assuming the offlane Viper, which it does look like it will be, there's no option for the Legion Commander here to close out for Execration to kind of punish the PL Illusion spam and just kind of dominate the lane with overwhelming odds. You could maybe do that if you give Palos the Viper or give Palos the TA Bob the Viper, but... Remember, um, Bob's specialty is that TA. I don't think he's going to want to part with that hero. So SMG's right. got a great core pick to kind of play around with here. Uh, I just got a message from our uh, our lead admin asking me to stop playing with my hair. Look, I'm having a bad hair day, all right, lady? I'm having a bad hair day right now. It's all over the place, John. I can't control it. Just leave me. Let me fix my hair, for the love of God. <laughs> we all have those days, Mike, yeah. you know? It, well, not you, John. You've got very short hair, John. Yeah. I'm in lockdown. It, it, I can't even go get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could learn to cut your own hair. I'd love oh, to see the result of that here. one, Mike, if it no. does happen. No. Still, uh, <laughs> SMG, they close out with a doom here. No hair problems for him, Michael. Just all no. horns. And that's an <laughs> interesting way of SMG closing out. That should be our doom versus TA lane on mid for Moon. Uh, for the TA, it's not too bad. But the doom does have ways of burning through refraction. Not really the focus of doom. You tend to just focus in on Devour, getting your farm, getting the Midas up, running around, getting built up from there. It could lead to a slower pace for SMG if your Doom and your PL are both farming. But I think you can still play around the timing of the early levels of Doom to look for those opportunities to hunt down and get some kills. Uh, primary target here in this game should be the TA. Just Doom her up. She's not going to do as much in the middle of the fights, especially when she can't spam her Refraction. So SMG has a solid way of kind of handling the mid lane now. Leads down the line. Execration. Still have to see how they close out. Still waiting for likely our Palos hero. Unless they go funky with a pause one Viper. And give Raging something else on the off lane to give them team fight. I think the lack of control is the big issue for Execration. Not, not, not really control, but more like team fight presence. They don't have like big AoE spells to hold people down. They don't have great AoE stuns. Their only real AoE stun is... Cogs and battery assault spread around, maybe an enchanted centaur creep, but beyond that, SMG does have more to bring on the table. Like Vac, yeah. Earth Spike, and Impale is pretty scary and not at all a heavy commitment to drop in a team fight. So SMG can kind of work those 5v5s better. And I think for Execration, if they do run, say, the Palos Viper, you could still go for the Sand King here. It's maybe maybe you start flexing around there, run the Viper save Clockwork 5 and Enchantress Sand King dual lane on the off. That could still work out if you flex oh, that. Oh, there lane. it yeah. is. All right. I mean, it made it all the way. It made it all the way, John. So Execration, I, I like where they went th with this draft. I don't know if I like the Pause 1 Viper. I'll be honest. I, I feel weird about Position 1 Viper. But I think having the TA there, having Bob playing the TA as well, we've seen how dominant he is on this hero. Obviously, it's him that's going to be the real carry in this game. And... The, the Viper is just there to make space uh, for this TA to, to farm the jungle, get over, get enough farm to just start running down SMG. John, which which team came out with a better draft? So I can turn these cameras off. Hmm, I'm going to lean towards... On draft, on paper, it feels like SMG has some smooth spikes, but I think Execration is easier to pull off. Yep. The timings are tighter with a Viper Sand King. Your dual lane of Sand King Clockwork is also devastating. Cogs into Sandstorm, and you're copying a lot of DPS already. Um, Sand King versus Phantom Lancer. Melee lane matchup for the Sand King. You can kind of apply to harassment on the creep wave, out farm. You do have to wait for like level 2 or 3 
forward a Sand King to hit those spikes, but it becomes pretty manageable as the levels go up. I think for SMG, the key issue is that PL farm and Doom farm is kind of slow. Like a Doom especially, we tend to see Midas first Doom it, before the blink comes out, before any other items come true. So you're not going to have the easiest time to just run up and get your Dooms off uh, to, say, catch out the TA. SMG is going to have to really get up to speed with her Darkseer line in Nyx. That's where all the action will come from early on. Whereas for Execration, maybe you have to wait for Raging Potatoes' Travels Blink, as we tend to see him build up. But it, after that, you're pretty much free to just run around. Even the Viper, maybe just wait for a Dragon Lens as well, and you're good to go. Yeah. So the early spikes for Execration is cause for worry, SMG. If they, if they manage to stall the game out, I think they've got great scaling. It's just surviving for those first 25 to 35 minutes where they're kind of... Oh. Oh, I think... Have we lost John? John, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, goodness. We, we almost lost you, John. L luckily, you're back, apparently. It was a, about two seconds worth of a cut-up, but it's fine. You're, you're all back to normal now. Thanks for keeping the answer short, by the way, John. I told you I wanted to turn the cameras off, and you just started rambling on. It was a yes or no uh, question, John. Yeah. Um, uh, it looks like I have internet issues right now, so I might have to do a re quick reconnect. I mean, you, we, we can hear you clearly, just so you know now. It, it was just a, a second or so. Yeah, no, like, uh, my lobby was completely frozen. Was there a pause, or...? <laughs> no, 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 all, all right. right. You, you, you do the reconnection if you need to, John. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, blabber on if, if need be. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. All right. So we do have SMG, we do have Execration. SMG, if you were, if you were watching yesterday, they did not pull off one game worth of a victory. So they're definitely looking for a victory here in their first matchup. Uh, Execration. This will be their debut in the group stage of the Loopet Pro Series 7. Uh, we, we're yet to see how they'll do it, but this is going to be their first game. So we'll get, a, we'll get a bit of a feel. Throughout the qualifiers, though, they were looking pretty strong. You know, a bit back and forth with this team. And I think John already mentioned that, uh, that SMG, in terms of the history between these two teams, do have a bit of an advantage. I believe it's 6 Series to 4 Series. Uh, so maybe just looking to be the favorites in this matchup. Apparently the Loopet odds do agree. So we are going to go ahead in for those bounty runes now, Arthur. He's going to be around. There'll be an Earth Spike out onto RR, and that'll ensure that they do end up getting a 2 for 2 trade in the bounties. Pretty standard kind of start between these two teams. And they'll go to their respective lanes. We'll have KP and Arthur there on the Nyx Assassin Darkseer. A very strong lane to have. Now, this double Iron Shell with the Nyx Assassin Darkseer, it's just very difficult to deal with. You are going to have RR there, though, on that POS5 Enchantress. And you are going to have Palos on the Viper. So, it is a difficult lane, but when you've got two ranged heroes like this that tend to dominate the lane, it may just not matter. So they don't have to stand near the, uh, the Iron Shells. And SMG, they can keep trying to push in the lane, but you're always going to have this Nether Toxin that Palos can throw down, and he can just clear the way back out. So, it's going to be very hard for SMG to, to keep the creep equilibrium the way they want it to be. Now KP is going to take a lot of damage. And that's another very scary thing here between Palos and RR. So if he gets the enchant off on a hero, Palos is going to slow him even more with that poison attack at level 2. And even with the surge, it's going to be very hard to get away. So RR will probably just wait for, uh, for KP to commit the surge, obviously, to, to use the enchant and, and get the purge off. So we'll have a look at the other lanes as well. You've got mid lane there between Bob and Moon. Right now, Moon apparently went for a bit of a T1 dive. It's going to take a lot of damage for it. But he is doing very well in terms of CS right now. And, well, it is a TA he's up against. So Bob, he's going to have a nice easy time catching up, I'm sure. You can always just kind of refer back to the jungle later on if you need to. So this should be a, a rather boring lane between these two. And then top lane, you've got mid one and Roggy on the peel and the uh, on the lion. You've got BDZ on the Clockwork, as well as Raging Potato on the Sand King. And we've seen Raging on the Sand King many, many times. It's been very, very dominant. Especially throughout those qu closed qualifiers for the, uh, the Pro Series. Just completely dominating every team when he did have that Sand King up. Mid lane, Bob. Getting very low on that TA. Just about 40 HP he survives on. He will have a Water Rune to go get, so he's going to get a bit more HP. And he, is, he has Ada Tango. 
But Moon so far doing a pretty darn good job of, of making sure that, that Bob's not going to have a, a free game for himself, apparently. Plane. Even mid one having a, a very good time as well on that PL right now. 12 and 3 in terms of CS raging. Not able to do too much right now. Still 11 and 0 on his own sanking though. So he's having a good enough time. As BDZ is going to try and rush forward onto Roji. You've got the brown boots up. So raging should be able to catch up now for the burrow strike. And there's your cogs out. BDZ, he sets up a nice kill. Roji, he's still going to go for a run raging. He should be in range. Maybe just barely out of it. They're going to chase very deep and raging. He'll turn around now as BDZ is not going to give up. He should still be able to get this kill with the battery assault. But it probably won't be a tier 2 tower dive. So Roger barely gets away. Enraging, he just couldn't get in range for the burrow strike. Very unfortunate stuff there for execration. Now Roger, he salves up, he's gonna be just fine. Meanwhile, looking back at the mid lane, Bob. Yeah, he's just been low this whole mid lane. Like it moon, it just continues to burn through the HP of Bob. He's got the bottle up, but he's out of regen and. He should still be able to get the bounty rune and just fill that bottle up anyway. Looks like he is going to be just fine. In fact, Bob, he has overtaken Moon now on CS, which, again, is to be expected from a TA because you can just farm the, the side stacks in that mid lane. There's not really much that, that Moon can do about that. BDZ does actually take the, the water rune away from Moon, and now he's going to go for a bit of a chase, but he might need to run. He's only got the level 1 battery assault. He'll try to go through the Roshan fog. The Earth Spike is there, Roji stuns him up, and BDZ is not going to be able to get out, Moon. He'll take the first blood on the Doom. That's not very great news for Execration, giving the Doom even more gold, but that is exactly what happens. Moon? Uh, yeah, I I'm not sure what that was about. Bob, he just kind of walked in and got the kill. I mean, Moon, he may have wanted a reset, but you never want to give your life away for it. Not to the enemy hero. And now Bob hits level 6. Moon, he's still level 5. Very confusing little play there from our Doom is now raging. Top lane is copying a lot of damage underneath the Sentry Ward. He'll try to run the other way, but mid one should eventually be able to Phantom Rush and get this kill. And raging, he has nowhere to go, so he will end up dying. And now mid one tips him back. So there you go, Moon cops a tip. Now Raging Potato cops a tip. And apparently John X5 is still missing. Unless he's muted himself and hasn't unmuted yet. But it looks like he might be having some internet connection issues. So we'll have a look back down to the bot lane now. In fact, no, never mind. Moon! Oh, Moon. A secondary death on the Doom now. Bob really starting to take over now. 2-0 on the TA. And Bob, he's very good in this Templar Assassin. It's very hard to slow him down once he gets a good start going. I, I mean, it's just hard enough with the hero, let alone Bob playing it. He's now Afu. Trying to make sure the power rune isn't going to go the way of Bob, but it is going to be top rune spot anyway. It looks like BDZ will be there to protect that power rune as Bob is going to clear out the creep wave. Then we'll go right after it. No problems at all for Mr. Bob. And so far, I really like the way Execration's played this. The only cause of concern is the fact that mid one is farming very well on that peel. But the thing is, with the draft of Execration, you don't really care so much about that. Because you're looking for that mid-game snowball timing as Bob, he gets another kill onto Afu this time. A massive kind of group up in the mid lane, a big earth spike out with the vacuum. RR's trying to run, but the iron shell should take him out, and now Bob... Will be chased down, but he has plenty of traps around. In fact, he'll turn now back on a Roji. He'll get a double kill, and he should be just fine to walk out. Moon, he doesn't have the Doom up yet. He's still level 5. Meanwhile, Bob is level 8. That is a 3-level disparity between the mid lane. That's a big problem for the side of SMG. Uh, that's a huge problem. Because now Bob, he's going to get a full bottle refill. RR even gives a tango over to Bob. 
This Doom, I mean, you kind of you kind of expect him to be ahead in terms of net worth and XP. He has the Devourer and he's almost maxed it out now, but it it just hasn't worked out that way for him. Top lane raging. Gonna try and oh mid one was trying to go on to him, but raging's just gonna borrow strike out and looks like he might just reserve himself to go to the jungle for a bit. Trying to farm up there instead. Mind you, he may be taking away farm from Bob, but it looks like they'll be okay with it because he just wants the Hood of Defiance up so he can actually lane against the PL. Meanwhile, Palos bottom lane does end up dropping. So KP secures the kill there onto the Viper. They do get a, a nice pos one Viper kill onto that Darkseer. So not all things are bad here for SMG. It's still a 4 for 4. 1k net worth lead for Execration. Again, I, I do fear with this mid-game timing. Hello, John Xfire. How you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm on mobile data. We're back at the very least. Looks like I missed a lot. As you were saying, Mike, before, fill me in a bit. Fill me in a bit. Well, Bob's been dominating, John. He's 4-0 right now. He's, I believe, three levels ahead of Moon at the moment on that TA. Which, uh, yeah, I, I was just talking about how much of a concerning sign that is. As Palos kills KP bot lane in this tier 1 mid tower. This is something you really don't want to lose this early. But they've lost it. And now Bob, he's going to rush forward onto Afu. It looks like they've probably got the Nyx Assassin. He'll try to run and In fact, he is going to make it. It, it all boils down to that faster pace we were talking about from the draft. Like this lineup of Execration dual lanes they had just enabled them to run around a little bit more. And they find a kill on BDZ while he's scouting around the jungle looking for mid one. But just the fact that you lose your tier one mid sub 10 minutes, you're not getting a tower trade out here from SMG. They are going for a bit of a rotation. Moon does not have Doom leveled. He is pocketing it and does grab it now. Carlos does get caught out. They're going to commit the Doom for this on the Viper, but he has TP rotations. I don't know if they're going to find this kill, and even if they do, it might cost them too much. Moon, he's forced to TP. BDZ, he can't get a range for the stun, but Afu is going to be left behind. And if they realize this, there's a free Nyx Assassin behind them right now as he's going to try and sneak his way through, but the pings are out. They know he's there. Or do they? No, they definitely do now. Bye bye, Afu. That's your Doom Waste. Take... Yeah, first Doom. They take the top tier one. Bob just gets that done by himself. Uh, again, the activity from Execration early on, it's just overwhelming SMG. The one upside is that mid one is allow allowed to sort of free farm in the jungle. And he's building up. He hasn't died yet. So your PL win conditions, almost at the defusal timing. You're probably still going to need the S and Y before you're comfy in joining these fights because of the damage output a TA, a Sand King, and a Viper has early on. You're going to need a little bit more time to cook up here in SMG. You need more protection around your camps, probably a few more wards. That one OBS is doing a ton of work here. On the side of Execration, they don't mind a little a little bit of downtime, and you still have to build up and Bob despite this level lead. The Desolator, once that's up, could be another spike for Execration to start actually just jumping forward. I don't think Bob's under pressure to jump in for his team. They need to wait for some level to under supports as well. BDZ just hit six with a Tome. So they've got the hook shot. They could look to make a smoke play here. I think they may as well, John. I mean, that mid game timing in about, I think, five, six minutes, it's going to be very hard for SMG. To be able to maintain their own jungle. Mid one, he is farming very well. Raging Potato, he's going to drop down the bot lane. KP able to secure the kill. But my big concern is the fact that this jungle may not last for SMG the way this game's gone. Yeah, yeah you can see that. I mean, a while ago we saw Bob playing top. He's now playing in the triangle. You've got your pause for uh, RR on the inch. Actually just running forward, taking some of those smaller camps away. It's just an uncomfy feeling to have this much pressure early on for SMG. You don't even have the aura items for KP. He's just trying to save up and rush for the Ags. It's just such a slower buildup. You have no presence with HP here. BDZ, he's gone off foo. He's actually going to break the cogs though. But Raging's going to be around the corner. Gonna be a nice easy Nyx Assassin kill. Meanwhile, top lane though, SMG, they're gonna find a much better target. They've got the TA doomed up, and with the finger out, they should have more than enough damage to take him down, and they will. Moon will take the kill, and that's a very valuable kill to get. Suddenly, Moon hitting level 9 now on the Doom, as they might lose Roji, or they may not. He does get out, but he dies Ooh. in the fountain. And Moon, he's gonna try and TP, and he's gonna be fine. They had no way to stun him up. 
But I mean, Moon is still three levels behind Bob. So I suppose in the end, while he got a lot of XP from that Bob kill, he hasn't quite caught up to the TA yet. Not quite. He at least finishes up his Midas. So he's going to have a steady source of EXP and gold along with the Devourer. This is when the Doom starts to kick into Overgrowth a little bit late at 12 and a half minutes. But it was a slower start for me. So this should allow him to ramp up now, get some more farm on himself, rush the Blink out. And once you have that Blink on Doom, you can kind of play with the Blink Centaur stun if you want to go that way for SMG. And like the pressure starts to mount on Moon to make those plays. And he needs to be ready to be active. Oh, hook shot off the mark there from BDZ. That would have been a, a pretty much a guaranteed kill on the moon had they gotten it, but just off the mark. Still just a 1k net worth lead, a very close game between these two teams. Mid one again, he's farming very well on the PL, right? Like the Diffusal Blade's up, he can join his team if he needs to, he's gonna go for the SNY next. I think once you've got the SNY, you can definitely start to apply pressure with the rest of your team if you wish. But execration, they don't need anything. They can go right now if they wish, and they are. They've smoked up. Afu, though, he's going to be around to break the smoke, but doesn't quite catch it yet. The bot T1 is set to drop and does. Execration. Oh, they're going to find RR. With the Iron Show, it's not going to be hard to kill him off. He'll try to heal through this. Meanwhile, Palace is going to come in, and there's the Epicenter. They've got a Fire Strike onto KP. They've got the Dark Seed down. RR, he actually survived with all that heal out. They just couldn't kill him off. Hookshot's there now. They've got Moom as well on the Doom mid one. He wants to try and join the fight, but he just can't right now. Afu's down. Moon is going to get chased, and looks like he probably will just burn out and does. BDZ gets him with the Rocket Flare and the Urn, and it looks like they may have even found another. Roggy, he's gonna dust up. Mid one will turn around and try to get some damage out, but the rest of the team are making their way over, and they can't kill Raging Potato. He's gonna be just fine. And that is one cause of concern, right? Like, mid one, he feels like he needs to join the team. But you look at Bob on the other side of the map, he's just been farming. He's not even flinching when his team gets into a team fight. Yeah, and we've seen SMG kind of do this a couple of times, especially yesterday. We see mid, mid one's willing to join these fights, but his heroes aren't ready to join fights. It needs to play that farm game with the opposing team's win condition. Like, uh, as you mentioned, Bob is just working these jungles a lot faster. With the Desolator up, it, it's much quicker for him to melt these camps. Uh, we're still waiting for mid one to hit that SNY. does have the Yasha almost done. That is pretty darn good. They are surrounding BDZ. They are. Major Potato is gonna die. Nice kill, top lane, however. Arfu. Can he get caught out? He might get a kill here with KP with the war being down, but Arfu should just guarantee die to Palos. And now Palos will start working onto KP. Viper strikes there. He's gonna surge away his mid one now. He'll join the fray. They've got KP down, but they'll lose Palos. Not a bad trade whatsoever here. The SMGs across the map, they do get a three for two trade. And one of those kills do go the way of mid one. That's a massive streak to give out to the PL. Gonna help him accelerate his farm, hit those item spikes he needs to hit. Execration doesn't seem to be too distraught though. They're just rushed. Oh, looks like we've lost John again. Execration. Gonna start moving into that Roshan now. With the Desolator up and the Meld Strikes, it's very easy to get rid of this Roshan. SMG, they'll be aware. Mid one, he'll send some illusions in, but they're just gonna melt to the sandstorm. They just want to know exactly what the HP pool's looking like right now. It's KP, you will have the vacuum, you'll have the surge, but it looks like they've decided they can't fight this. They don't really have a way of initiating. That'll be the first Roshan of the game going the way of execration. Now Bob, so, happen oh hello John. Hello, I actually can't tell when I get cut off, so you're gonna have to excuse me, but uh, SMG, they give out the first Roche, they can't really fight in, as, well, they didn't really have Doom. The Blink's up on Moon, they were now out of position, good vision coming out from Execration to kind of protect them there as well, and it comes down to who is dying on Execration. Like, yeah, you lose your Viper, he's worth a lot of gold. You don't really lose out in much because Bob is a lot bigger and he can help you clear objectives. So you, st you still end up getting a net positive for Execration. You are still 
kind of working this map well. I think we should try to see Execration take some tier twos. Like if they stall out in the objectives, you do give SMG space. They're playing in that bot jungle well. They've got wards to protect in this area. They know where it's safe to farm now. And they have gotten this SNY spike on mid one with the, with the defusal. So he's got more HP, he's got more move speed, more agi, more things to play with. I think Execration needs to be ready to kind of start hunting again. BDZ is going to spot out Roji. Shot is available. He's just waiting up. It does eventually go for it. And they want that Lion dead first. Roji, he's gone. Nice easy pick off there for Execration. They wanted to try and double up there with Arfu as well. But Arfu, he's going to Vendetta and just walk out of there. Looks like he'll be just fine. John, I did want to point out how lucky the uh, oh, that KP was in danger. But he'll surge away. Some of the neutral items, though, very lucky for Execration. They got the Grove Bird for Palos. They've got the uh, they've got the Imp Claw for Bob, so you can crit on the Meld Strike. <laughs> it's just uh, very nice neutral items dropping for Execration thus far. You gotta love it. Every single time on demand, you get what you want. Now you do have the Imp Claw and Grove Bow as well for SMG. I just don't see anyone that can really use that Grove Bow. I'll give it to Roger. have that big range core. Yeah, yeah I mean, give it to Roger. He'll like it. it. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, he he does have the 70 damage talent. If he wants to go for it down the line. You can you can be the carry or at least help siege. But the side of execration, yeah, they they don't mind anything at all. Like they can just shove in the top tier two with a deso, slowly rip away. It's gonna be a faster push coming out from them. SMGs keeping that bot wave shoved in, but the push for of their heroes is just not as fast. It's just not as quick yet, even with the illusion spam. And if you just leave these towers alone, Execration will take them for free. It is a nice easy hook shot onto Roji. He just does it to get away though and block the ways. Now Arfu gonna try and go into Raging, but he's very deep. We'll have to back off of Raging. He just doesn't bunch. Eventually he'll burrow strike the other ways. Now mid one's gonna show up into that mid T1 tower. But in the meantime, they lost the top tier two. And if Execration wants, they've got pretty much all their ulties up. They could go for a mid T1 tower fight. If SMG do commit for this. But it's only going to be some mid 1 illusions. SMG, they're going to back off. Yeah, they don't really want to fully commit as they, they're not aware where Execration is because they lost their top tier 2. They know there's potential for a smoke rotation down through the mid lane, through the opposite side of a ramp. Easily cut them off, uh, cut off their reinforcements as well. They are trying to maximize Afu's scouting potential with Vendetta. The issue with this lineup is you do have the Iron Shell Vendetta combo, but you don't have anything else. You don't have that global presence we tend to see with, say, AA, with Invoker, and you don't get to just gank anywhere on the map with Nyx. He needs backup. He probably needs the line to run around with him and Raji. He has to use his body to protect his cores. So he's just standing around the jungle, keeping track, and making sure that if there is a jump forward, he's the one to die not mid one not moon and that just takes away some of this burst potential you have with a uh, nyx and lion like these heroes have such great damage spells to get that hunt on and they're not really able to capitalize on it in smg execration again just slow and steady building up the pace keeping all their lanes shoved except the bot lane they know that jungle is controlled by smg so they just play where they can and they know if someone steps out now they've got Really, really easy burst damage coming through. They are scanned out by SMG. And SMG will take this opportunity to do a smoke wraparound. Well, that they will. See if they can find anything out of this, though. It's been a bit of a tough start for them, but... Well, they, they do feel like they can maybe take this team fight. But this is the timing of Execration now. So it does feel like they're going to be at a disadvantage unless they get a massive vac wall and, and, a, and a nice Doom target, perhaps onto Bob. He does have the Aegis still up though, maybe just about to expire, but... Raging, gonna blink away, they'll jump in for the Doom, however, here comes the Cavalry now, Palos, he's gonna show up, they're still trying to focus down Raging, he might go down, or maybe not, he does eventually go, but now our Fu's in trouble, Moon's trapped up in the cons, I'm not sure how worth it this was, mid one, he's gonna show up onto Bob, they have the sentries, they have the detection, they do get the TA, and Bob, his Aegis wore out, so very nice timing here from SMG. It's still a 3 for 2 though. Mid one, he needs to clean up. Hook shots there from BDZ. They'll still try for the chase. They go onto Palace. They'll get the Viper down. And mid one, he's making it worth their while. He'll keep diving in for more. Onto RR they go. Cogs are down. Mid one, he'll go right through them now. 
Back in onto the Enchantress. Heals her out. Can they actually kill RR? Not quite. He's alright. <laughs> but yeah, still, it ends up being got, decent. Yeah, you've got issues managing that PL. I think that's what this lineup really boils down to from Execration. They can kill off everyone else, but once, once mid one's willing to commit his body forward, you don't really have the best AoE. Um, losing out on Raging was the right target for SMG, just because he's probably their best control for that wide AoE. He's their best way of handling those illusions, getting the classic finales off, trying to get the chain stun and sandstorm going. And as long as SMG gets their target priority right like that every engagement, they can kind of handle it well. Unfortunate timing for Execration. As mentioned, the age is expiring like I think 10 seconds before that fight broke up was really the big dent there for Bob's uh, life on the TA. And I think they have to be a little bit more cautious on Raging. Like, he needs to be surviving through. He can't be doomed up. I think he'd rather have oh, the TA be Big doomed Burrow up. Raging. He found two targets, but he's all alone. It looks like they're making their way over, but he's too early. Hook shots there from BDZ. They might get Roger, but where's the backup? Bob, he's making his way over. BDZ, he'll go for the dive into the tier 2 tower. But Execration, they definitely go too far. And they just gave a double kill to mid one. Yeah, it's, it's starting to turn around in SMG's favor now. This PL is now bigger than the TA. You're hitting the item spikes that for the PL to kind of handle this lineup. Going for the Scotty next on mid one. Just more stats to eat through the damage flying out from Bob. And of course, the slow, the healing reduction is great, especially against that Enchantress, which has been an issue. I think the... Side of Execration need to keep playing as a team. They can't afford to stream in one by one. Oh, they're going in onto that Enchantress now. Ah, oh, right. He's going to try and survive, but no, he just can't do it. Mid one hitting way too hard on the PO now. In mid lane, who else have they found? Moon. He's going to try and find a target, and he does find the big one. He's got Bob on the TA. The real position one here is the wall. It is not on the mark, but it won't matter. They'll still take down Bob, and now Palos. He even shows up on the Viper to try and help out. He is certainly dead, but a Burrow Strike Epicenter. Is it going to be enough? Mid one. He drops very low, but not low enough. They have the double impel. They have the finger. They'll throw everything out. And now another tip from mid one. Onto Raging Potato. No mercy. They'll go into the mid tier one tower. An Execration. It's looking like a very tough game for them now, John. They've missed their timing. Yeah, they have they took it a bit too slow. They gave out some kills they shouldn't have earlier on. And this is the moment we were talking about from the draft. Like the 25 to 35 minute mark is when SMG's lineup is ready to run and gun. When Execration sort of taper off a bit, especially if they don't win out these fights. Now you've got a 6k lead in SMG. Mid one, the Scotty's pretty much done and flying over. And that's such a massive spike for appeal. So much HP, so much damage. You do not have enough to kind of spread over the illusion spam. We saw our Sand King going. We saw Raging just commit the epicenter onto mid one alone. Not enough. They just don't have the hold. They don't have the counter to the PL. And they keep getting caught one by one. Like Bob getting doomed up this time just cost them. They, they need to stick as a team here on Execration Sand. They can't afford to kind of slow down and just go back to farming once more. They're losing out to Doom Devour Midas. They're losing out to a PL who just won't die. Uh, I think Execration still has a lot of ways of fighting, but the execution has to be so much cleaner. I would have to agree with you there, John. It's, uh, it's been very, very messy from Execration, at least from what we saw in the close qualifiers till now. Yes. Just not the, not the same team we're looking at almost. The SMG, they're doing a great job today. And that's definitely great news for them because they need some points on the board. They're off to a good start in game one. They've just got to put the, uh, the lid on this game. Just try to close it shut. Execration, though, they're not out of the game yet. I mean, they've still got some spikes they can go for, but it's looking very tough when you've got Bob who just is nowhere near as farmed as mid one now. And it is still a PO late game you're looking at. It's just not very fun. They're going to try and sneak a Roshan, but... This is a very obvious Roshan and SMG. They're going to go for the fight. Hookshot's there, though. They found Moon first. They have got the Doom under control, but he's going to survive. And now the vacuum wall's there. This is looking like a really bad team fight as they kill off RR. Moon, he will finally go down. BDZ, though, he probably won't be so lucky either. A big Burrow Strike Epicenter. They'll try to turn up a mid one. He is so tanky. They are just trying to save Bob, but the Doom is going to make it impossible. As another tip is out from mid one. 
And now the BDZ is also going to drop mid one. He is godlike. 11 0 on 3. And this is the mid one we expect to see throughout the Pro Series. Yeah, this is the performance we were looking for on his pause one. And it, it wasn't quite there yesterday. It's here in full force now. Execration, it looked like they broke up that fight. Well, they just couldn't press down to Doom before he got his spell use off. And every time he catches out Raging or Bob, the entire team fight of Execration just falls flat. So they're probably going to need a defensive spell. Maybe a casual Lincolns on one hero would really help you out here. You do have Raging back up, and you're still playing by the Roche. They've got the Blink uh, Burrow Strike. They want to contest this. Yeah, they're going to try. Burrow Strike is there. Sandstorm. They have got half the HP for gone. A mid one, but the vacuum's down as well. Three heroes being vacuumed in Palos. He just gets destroyed by mid one. The BKB's there, but it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing, and now a regen rune's there for mid one. It will get cancelled though. The trap damage will get rid of it, but it won't matter. They can, they can still go for this Roshan. Still pick up the Aegis, the Cheese, the Shards. But they're being very wary because BDZ, he has the vision over this Roshan pit. Put Hookshot in to try and steal this Roshan. Hookshot, it's going to be early. Maybe he can find a kill onto mid one, but no, certainly not. You've got no damage out. He'll go down, and now mid one should be able to secure very easily. His KP is going to come in, take a few hits, and eventually they take everything and run. Yeah, it's a big win for SMG. Just the back-to-back pickoffs they get as well. From Execration not timing their Roshan contest all too well. And they're playing a 12k deficit now. It's all in on the TA. It's the only scaling they have left. Moon? Yeah, he's in. Uh, I don't know about this, Moon. It's, you're all by yourself here, sir. He's got some help on the way. He'll pop his BKB, but the right-click damage is still very high from Bob. Still Doom. Not going to fly out. Melt Strike is there. Moon, he's going to drop. And Afu is going to try and run after trying to help out. He's got some teammates on the way. He'll go for a TP, though. He's going to be fine. That's something you you got to be careful of. You don't want to give these kills away. That was 1k the way of Bob. He could still transition to a late game monster on this TA. If you're not too careful. Oh. However, he's been caught out by the Hex. Burrow Strike out raging. He connects onto three. Bob, he needs more help than that. He's not going to get it. He is down. Epicenter out from Raging Potato. But it is not going to matter either. And mid one. He just keeps up with the voice lines. As now Rodgy's tipping. This time, though, it's going to be KP that gets tipped. Yeah, KP just went in with that great vac, locking in the, inch, the TA. Execration, they take some wins, they take some losses. Overall, SMG, they had to buy back on Moon, so he does lose a ton of gold, and he's not going to have the buyback protection in case they do drop that next fight. However, the Doom did give them that TA kill, so I don't, I don't think you mind overall here on SMG. They still hold on to the Aegis and Cheese on mid one. And they can look to the high ground now. Like the hold from Execration, it's not the most amazing hold. They have great wave clear with the Viper in the sense that you can just drop Nether Toxin, clear out wave. But their team fight is still not lining up. There's just so much pressure in Raging Potato to get those burst strikes. And the rest of the team has to follow up. We need to see the hook shots fly in timely we need to see the cogs cut them off it just hasn't been lining up for execration and smg has just been making great work of these weaknesses from execration's execution yeah absolutely top lane uh Fu, he's gonna spot out palos this pause one viper has really not worked out at all for execration and Afu, i think he's just gonna make sure that palos can't tp back home he'll just wait around they're trying to force the high ground again and as soon as he goes to that tp Afu will be there waiting. In fact, never mind. The Vendetta's going to wear out. He'll just let him go. Palos, he's just not going to TP back, it seems. Yeah. So, uh, I think they just want to hold off as much as possible. They, it looks like Execration might accept that he can only play high ground. Although, Palos... He's alright. BKB TP away. He'll be fine. However, mid lane, BDZ may not be so fine. He's very far forward. He's just going to melt. Mid one just destroys him. He's got a lot of damage on this PL right now with that butterfly up. It's, it's very hard to contest mid one at this point. It feels impossible, in fact. Yeah, he's just way too tanky. And 
I mean, they they were saving for the MKB up, although mid one's diving. Yeah, I mean, why not? How do you kill him? How do you kill this man now, Johnny? <laughs> you, you can't. Oh, God. oh, there it is. There you go, mid. Mid one learned some lessons yesterday, I see. The tip game, the stickers, the fountain diving. Mid one, I love what I'm seeing. Keep up the good work, sir. Welcome back to Southeast Asia. He's, he's learned the oh, ways, yeah. John. He's learned the ways again. Yeah, I wouldn't say learn. I, I'd say remember it. He's remembered his route. He's, he's embraced <laughs> the, the culture and he's going for more dives. Oh, that's a great double as well. On the burrow, he avoids the stun out. RR uh, is going to try and run. They'll go for a fountain dive in. RR uh, uh, looks like he'll just die to the shards as mid one. He gets a double in the fountain. Does he want to go for more? You bet your ass he does after raging. No. He'll go after Bob. Epicenter's there, but a triple kill out for mid one. Oh, you know yesterday hurt John. He wants his vengeance and unfortunately execration of the ones that are going to cop it. Doom is out. He's dived right in. Raging. He'll go for the Sandstorm. They are trying to kill off this PL, but he's just man fighting. He'll find another. He should die now and does, but that is just going to be the Aegis. Epicenter out. Hook. Oh, it's off the mark. They mistime everything. They missed time absolutely everything as now they go in onto Bob. That's a rampage uh, for mid one. Now more. a massive impale out. A double, more. a triple more. man page. How many rampages does this man want? How many more? Give him another oh. one. Give him another one, John. He uh, puts the uh, loser sticker down. That's it. <laughs> Is there any mid one doubters in chat? Speak up. <laughs> oh, SMG. I mean, all of that. 25 and down. 0. Yeah, a perfect 25. game on PL. Just, it was just a perfect pick. They had no counter on Execration side. It looked good when they flexed the Viper and the Sand King, right? Like, Viper to safe lane, Sand King to off lane, play a quick pace with Bob's TA, your big win condition. They never found a PL kill. They gave a lot of space out to the PL and SMG side, and they course corrected. Compared to yesterday where we saw mid one joining in those early fights, we actually saw him resist, pull back, stick to farming. Farm, 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 build up, defusal up, SNY. Once the SNY was up, that was it. Like yep. He had way too much durability. Execration were pouring in one by one, getting doomed on the big heroes they couldn't afford to have doomed up. And I think that's what we have to see change up from Execration. Their early game was nice. It was pretty darn strong from what I saw. I mean, you had a huge level advantage on Bob over Moon. But you need to be able to apply that pressure on mid one. Like, you need to keep him shut down. If you let him farm, he can grow big. We'll see if Execration start to switch their targeting sites towards that big Woo. safe laner now for FSMG. Uh, John, you end with like a quad or a penta rampage. I mean, oh, yeah. is that even... Have we seen that before? I mean, mid one just... He's lost his mind oh. after yesterday, John. He's gone crazy. <laughs> we'll, we'll get in... We'll oh, go yeah. to a break. We'll, we'll relax a bit, get some, get some breathing room and come back with our second game between SMG and Execration. We'll see you all again very soon.